Lots of schools have a logo. Not many have one as iconic as this. It commemorates a Spitfire pilot who steered his stricken aircraft away from this school in Hornchurch in 1943. If it wasn't for him, um, our school wouldn't be here today and hundreds of kids' lives would have been lost. I feel like it was incumbent on us to change the name back, like to celebrate him and to remember him each and every day. So we took that second to end his own life in order to save others, which was very brave and courageous. Raymond Sanders Draper was an American volunteer pilot for the RAF. His selfless act saved hundreds of pupils, including Tom Fitch. He was 13 years old then, he's 91 now. Wouldn't be here today if he'd have gone into that, if he'd have smashed into that wall. You never know what, what, what the consequences could, could have resulted, could you? You know. Sanders Draper was based at RAF Hornchurch. The school changed its name to Sanders Draper for many years, before dropping the Draper bit in 2014. It's all a bit confusing, but with the approval of Tom and his friends, yeah. it's being put right now. So I quite agree with it. Yes, I think I, I don't can't understand why they've changed it in the first place back to Sutton School. You know, once they adapted to the, the change with the pilot's name, well, why change it back? And they're all going to be men now in their 90s, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> like, like this poor old devil. <laughs> for me, it's fitting. It's right that the name of the school is, is his name. And for me, it's fitting that in September we'll return to that. And rightfully so. It holds memories and it's the values that we then abide and live by. It was one of countless heroic acts in the war. But what Raymond Sanders Draper did will never be forgotten in this corner of East London. Simon Viger, 5 News, Hornchurch.